Okay, this is an example of one of their document types that was set up. So here's the Pleading Superior Court, and if I load the form, what this client did is they took uh, my pleading template and they put fields into it. So here this came up and you can see uh, they have put some boilerplate text in but then wherever you see these double less than greater than signs chevron looking things those are actual pro law fields now the client put those in but they did it using you know things from here um, which if necessary I could try to help you with that I haven't ever been trained on this it's kinda like setting up a mail merge but this is one of the things that the pro law people is supposed to teach you how to do okay so keep that in mind and let me close this and I'll close that Oops, I don't want to close that. Hang on. Okay, here I am in the matter uh, for this event. And I don't think, I can't really resize. I've got this whole window resized for my screen recorder. I can't really see all of it at once. But um, you know how to create documents. So they come along and they say new document. And they tell it what type they want. We'll stick with the Superior Court pleading. Now, it's for this particular matter, so when I say OK to create the document, it is going to fill in all those ProLaw fields. Then there were a couple things that ProLaw didn't have fields for, so I had the dialog box do stuff. So here's filling the fields in. Then the macro ran, my macro ran, and made sure the header and footer were OK. And now it's asking for the title. So this right here is my macro. So it's a combination between the fill-in fields, which come out of ProLaw, which typically you would set that part up because you know your ProLaw, what fields people are filling in. You put those in the form, and then I could say, OK, well, there is no field, let's say, for the title here. So I would have a dialog box pop up and ask the user for that. And then you're in the document. So now at this point, it's just like uh, it is for you. Once you're in the document, let me scroll this. Oh, this client's different. That You would have the pleadings ribbon that you have now with all those macros on it. This particular client keeps all that stuff right here. Um, my point is once you're in the document, the outlining tool, any macros that run on a document would be there for you to use. All the styles that we have set up would be there. Uh, assuming that when you created, when you set up the merge fields, you used our pleading document, didn't just start with a blank document that didn't have those styles in it, uh, you would be good to go.